this year. Lost in a over, double overtime picture in my room about it. Uh, when I was walking off the mat crying last year. I felt like awful after that. Don't want to feel like that ever again. So my strategy is this year I'm going to go out there. It's going to be in the back of my head the whole time. And I'm just going to go out there and wrestle how I can. I don't care what anyone else does. Uh, it's going to be amazing. I've been wanting to do this since I was little. This is what it's all about. Uh, limit Ramos's takedowns and try to turn it on the mat. Go-to moves are my power double and my tilts. Mark, you and I talked in the semifinals about what a uh, what an offensive machine uh, Ramos was, and he certainly was against Jarose with the uh, with the six takedowns. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Well, it was impressive because he used several different types of takedowns. He used he used aggressive shots. He used the slick uh, chuck buys when when the man was pushing in on him too hard. He he distributed. He showed quite a range of skills, which is impressive because a lot of guys are just. One way or the other, they're slick or they're powerful or they're coming at you, and he did he did all the above. Yeah, definitely a big step up of intensity here from the 103-pound bout. Morrison and Petrell, a lot of familiarity with each other, not just from this year, but from the you know, youth wrestling, seeing each other on the circuit, and, and now that they're both respectful and cautious. I, I know they both have more offense from that in them, and here Ramos is really stepping up the pace. Well, this is our second match in a row with a number one and a number two ranked wrestler going at each other, and these guys are both sophomores. They're going to see a lot of each other over the next couple of years. And we are a minute and 20 into the first period of our 112-pound championship match, and a stall warning here against Adam Sheely of Geneseo. Tony Ramos of Glenbard North, ranked number one in the country at 112, got the first takedown, and takedown number two, and well, the coaches are going to hope that the refs wave that off. Um, Shelly got popped in the mouth pretty hard by Ramos's head on the way in. He's tenacious. I like his style, and he's got a variety of setups, too. You see he changes directions really well. He, he's in the guy's face. Look, he went from the, from the left, left side to the right side. Oh, he's just... He, he is really fun to watch. He I mean, is that's just, all you can say. He is fun to watch. Ramos is just one of those guys who wrestles from one edge of the mat to the other. And, well, he's, this is interesting. He's going to try to ride Sheely, who's kind of uh, like Jarrows in the semifinals, only more so. Sheely really is a great mat wrestler. And, uh, well, maybe Ramos trying to show us something here. Well, yeah. with 10 seconds left, I figured <laughs> I think he figured that was his uh, best bet for, for that particular situation. Yeah, good strategy. You know, just generally, he's a good takedown wrestler, but even the great takedown wrestlers, you got to figure in that 20 to 30 second window, if you get on top, your goal is to ride the guy out hard, wear him down without giving up the score. Every situation is different. Some guys will cut a guy loose with 30 to 40 seconds, believing and knowing they're going to get that takedown. But anything under 30 usually is, is ride out range, where you're really going to push him and break him down. Well, and quite honestly, he needs that. He'll need that kind of skill over the next couple of years as, as college coaches start to take a look at him because they're not going to want somebody that cannot ride somebody for 10 or 15 seconds. Indeed, you're, you're so right. And, and coaching college, you're looking for the complete wrestlers because in the college level, you're often looking at no takedowns or one takedown each. It's so critical that you can ride the guy out when you need to, that you can get off bottom. Those yeah. are two big areas where a lot of elite high school kids need a lot of work is getting off bottom and be able to control good wrestlers. They're used to controlling their typical high school opponents, but to control the best guys, it's definitely a bigger technical and tactical challenge. Now, that being said, quite honestly, you could show a tape of Ramos moving his opponent to get him off and balance and take shots. You could show that to a number of college kids and say, that's what I'd like you to do. Yeah, there he you is, go. He's so good at moving his opponent around for setups. One of the reasons, of course, that uh, Ramos took neutral to start the second period. It's still 4-1 to one in favor of Ramos. All right, well, here's the interesting thing. Going into the third period, Sheely's still behind. Is he going to choose under or is he going to choose top? I think he really has no choice but to choose top. That's his shot. He's not going to take Ramos down. So that's about his only uh, chance to score points for, uh, at this point. Guys have done it and uh, been successful in this tournament, as we have occasionally seen. Less than a minute to go in the second period, and Ramos with another throw by. 
Wow. Wow, they just nailed Sheely for backing up onto that edge and off again. Hit him for a stalling point. It's now five to one in favor of Ramos. But yeah, Ramos is just relentless. Just in your face pressure. Again. Yeah, young wrestlers at home, be, pay attention, not, not just necessarily a shuck to a single, but in general, be able to attack both sides of the guy's body. And I don't mean just be able to attack a high crutch on one side and single on the other, but be able to pull an elbow on one side and then change directions and attack the other leg with an angle. Too many wrestlers fail to combine their setups, let alone be able to attack both sides. He's well, got to needs a takedown right now with 30 seconds left to get back in this match. He desperately needs this two-pointer. It looks like Ramos is countering it. And Ramos showed some good hips right there. He turned his hip nice. He had a tight whizzer. So not only does he have great offense, but he's got strong hips on defense as well. Ramos takes him out, 14 seconds left in the second period. He's ahead five to one. This 112 pound championship match. That was too straight on, but he almost bullied through it anyways. He's, oh, he's, he's just powerful. Just they get it anyway. He does, there he gets is. the bull job done. He's got that, he, got, he pulled in that double and scored on the edge with two seconds left. Well, that pretty much that pretty much wraps this match up unless Shelley can get him turned in the third period. It's another. Uh, you, you look at Ramos's box scores throughout the year: 15 to 5, 16 to 6, 19 to 8, and he was getting those scores against a lot of the guys that placed at 119, as well as the guys that placed at 112. He averaged well into the teens in points a match. He's just a machine. Well, so far, his closest match at the state meets seven points dif differential, and he's on his way to that again. Yeah, he's very aggressive and intense. He's got Sheely broken here. You know, he picked top and got and wasn't able to hold him down at all. And that was really Sheely's one last chance, and uh, no problem for Ramos getting out. And he's on the attack again. Well, not only is Ramos now seven points ahead, which was his closest match so far, but for the style conscious, he's winning the match there too. He's got the he's got the close cropped hair on the sides, middle of his hair is a little longer, blonde tipped. It's good luck. <laughs> it's a good luck. And there's another takedown. Just uh, talking about style, there's another another takedown. It's just drilling right now. Minute 20 left to go. Ramos looking at a major decision if nothing changes, and it's not likely that nothing will change from this point. They go off the edge with a minute 10 left to go. Well, he's had the kind of a tournament that can get you outstanding wrestler type of awards. I mean, he hasn't had, he hasn't had a close match yet, and this is just dominating to be beating a kid this good in the finals this soundly it's quite a performance yes I'm, I'm impressed i like his intensity i like his tenacity where he's in your face he's just keeping the pressure on he's pretty diverse too he changes setups he's, he's got good short offense let's see if he can get a counter attack right here this is what i call short offense just a little quick drag trying to get behind the guy he likes to shoot he just wants those legs doesn't he there we go There's you know what, he is not nursing that lead. He's just no. going to keep scoring some points for the fans. And that's the way you want to wrestle, just relentlessly. I like it. And he's got good technique, too. Very good driving doubles. Impressive work. Good focus, good conditioning. He's just nonstop. I like that. And in, in, in lieu of a miracle at this point, he's going to get his first state title. 40 seconds left to go now. This is a 112-pound state final, and uh, Tony Ramos of Glen Bard North is putting on a clinic. He, he drives is. him out of bounds. One area he can improve on, clearly, is the counterattacks, the snapping the guy, spinning him, get behind him. Every time Sheely takes a medium shot, Ramos doesn't really go behind him. He just kind oh, of, that yeah. we all. He's not uh, going to get that. He thought about it. <laughs> we almost had that miracle we were talking about. It was a... But Ramos shot in, and Sheely just about had a counter headlock, but Ramos uh, avoided it at the last second. Yeah, Sheely's just playing exhausted, too. But Ramos does a nice job, good diversity of offense. You heard a nice whoa out of the crowd, because it was just about it was just about there, but not quite. Nice and that'll job. do it. 12 to 2. 12 to 2 is the final, and Tony Ramos of Glenbar North, this was a coronation indeed over the number two as well as uh, some other wrestlers on the short list of rankings here in the state throughout the rest of the tournament. 
congratulations, you're a state champ, runner-up last year. Uh, we've noticed that you put up a lot of points through the state series. Uh, and last year you were in an overtime one-point match. What have you done to open up your offense and make things a little bit, uh, a little bit more comfortable for you? First, I want to start with I want to thank my sponsors. Make sure team sponsors, Heil, LCC, Olympic Chiropractor. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to go to the Ironman tournament. Play actually paid for a lot of that, and that prepared me for these type of matches. And I approached six minutes, 